Lawrence, 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 I forgot how much 
Miss Kate likes to get, he, she, she makes sure, you know, when I come in, she's like, she has it all lined up. <laughs> so, the uh, lecture was, I just off the cuff made up, be creative, it's cool like jazz, because it's supposed to be on creativity. But you know, I, what I'm thinking is something that, that might really be beneficial is I, I work with a lot of, of children and kids, and they are especially creative before they know better that they shouldn't be that way. So I think it'll, it'll, it'll be focused around my experience with kids and creativity, and we'll see how that goes. So there's nothing written, so I'm gonna be pleased if you have come up and ask questions, because it'll be a lot of improvising going on. And every one of you who has decided to come to the Afterglow, we will see you down the hall and he will greet you, and we will have books, and music, and talk, and a lot of sweets. So thank you, and thank so many of you for making this possible. Thank you, Dana. We have Dana. We have Scott. Scott, how many tickets have you sold for Trombone Choice? 70 so far. So oh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> and so what did, Trom what did he talk about? He talked about Trombone Choice. And guess what? When you read, read the review of Trombone Shorty, that's soon to be in the paper, he's talking about Delphia. <laughs> so thank each and every one of you, and thank you for supporting the Arcade and Jazz Society. Yay! Thank you very much. Good night.